Okay. Um, you know, sometimes we have to, if the just live by faith, sometimes we have to go back to the foundations. And what I mean by that, you know, the Bible says, he that has a vision, let him write it down on his heart, that he who has it might be able to run. And uh, so sometimes when God's dealing with me about something and, and I'm seeing stuff happening in the world and, and all kinds of doctrine and, and uh, you know, it seems like everybody's running after the tree of the knowledge of good and evil rather than running after the tree of life. And uh, we have to go back to our first love and let God reestablish us in the things that he's told us versus what we see happening in the world. Well, back in 2001, God was dealing with me about the just living by faith. And it's not by what you see, but it's by the way he's leading you. It's, it's what God's saying to you about this situation. It's being able to see through the eyes of God. Well, with that being said, when the towers were hit, you know, I asked God, I said, I, I, I mean, I see it, it's obviously happening. I said, but I don't understand this. What is happening? What's really happening? And God began to, to deal with me again, you know, because I, I stood up, matter of fact, I was in my prayer closet. On uh, it was on a Sunday morning, and God told me, He said, "Son, there's a change coming. It's spiritual, not physical." Well, about early that morning, Monday, I went to work. Matter of fact, I stood up in my church that day, and I told them, God told me to tell them, you know, there's a change coming. It's spiritual. It's not physical. Well, of course, they thought I was a lunatic. It seemed like I was in a church where I was I hadn't been saved long enough to recognize. You know what I'm saying? You when you're first saved, everything that comes out of your mouth is to save the world and and uh save even the body sometime. But they didn't uh they didn't accept what I was saying. They was just you know, a young Christian that, that's running off at the mouth that needs to sit down and shut up. Well, I went to work uh, Monday. Tuesday, uh, I guess at what, 9, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, is when the towers, uh, all that started and, and they were hit. And so I began to ask God, if, if I'm not to judge this thing by what I see, but that there was something spiritual, I said, I don't understand this. I'm, what am I seeing? What is, what's happening? And the Lord told me, he said, son, he said, didn't I tell you that there was a change coming? It's not physical. It's spiritual. And it took me, it took me a couple of uh, months to understand what he was saying, but the very thing he said out, after, uh, I guess, a couple of days of, of uh, fasting and praying, if I remember right, fasting, but definitely praying, saying, Lord, I don't understand. What do you mean there's a spiritual change coming? And the Lord told me, he said, Son, he said, the beast is risen up out of the sea, just as Bush drew all the nations together through seducing words, so is the Antichrist come. And I told the Lord, I said, so you're telling me that Bush is the Antichrist? And the Lord rebuked me sharply. He said, do not add to my word or take away from my word. So he spoke those two things. He said, the beast is risen up out of the sea, and uh, so is the just as Bush drew all the nations together through seducing words, so is the Antichrist come. And as I began to, to seek the Lord over that, I told the Lord, I said, I don't understand this. He said, he, that, see, I, I knew it was somewhere in the Bible, but I didn't know where. But the Lord told me, he said, what's happened is as the, the dragon came out of the pit and out of his mouth came frogs which were unclean spirits. So I knew that what happened on 9-11 and I don't want to go into a lot of this. I just want to simply say 
that what happened on 9-11 was spiritual and it opened up a pit because of the agreement and the hardness of men's hearts that that now these these demonics that had been bound up since the foundations of the world because of the hardness of men's hearts were now being received because see people don't just get saved or they don't just serve the devil God calls them Satan's Satan does the same thing when he begins to draw you you will make a choice well see men in this time had come into agreement and made choices these choices because of unity doesn't the Bible talk to us about unity that God commands his blessings on unity well so it is in the world in the in the demonic realm because men through selfishness join together in unity a, 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 a two-fold cord three-fold cord not easily broken the hardness of their heart they received it opened up something spiritually that allowed demonics into this world that had that's not been in this world since the foundations of time these are spirits of old of a of, uh, and, I, and I'm going to stop there. But, and I told God, I said, so uh, what are you saying? That, that you know, and God, God began to deal with me where everybody is talking about, you know, the end of the world. And, and uh, you know, they're talking about seeing the signs of the times. God told me, he said, son, he said, these are just the beginning of sorrows. See, we've not even entered into what most people are calling last day prophecy. We've only entered in. We've only entered into the beginning of sorrows from 2001 forward to the present day. So, um, hopefully this, this helps us to understand because now what we're beginning to see in the earth in the divide, because I keep saying, remember what I said, that this storm is coming to divide the wheat and the tare. It also has to do with, with the, uh, the fullness of time and the fullness of the harvest, meaning everybody that's going to get in and give their life to Christ are now getting in, is, is coming to fullness. And those who are going to reject him is coming to fullness. The, the harvest is being ripened. We're coming into a time where the beginning of sorrows those who are going to, uh, honest to goodness, honest to goodness with their hearts, it's not a religious thing. It's, it's actually living for God, seeking after His face. It's desiring the presence of God in your life and not the things of, of this world. Those that are learning to live by faith, those that are learning to hear His voice, those are, who are allowing the Spirit to chasten them, that we might have the image of God to rest in what Christ has done. Those are learning to live by faith. There is a dividing of the wheat and the tear in the earth right now. Because Christ, like I said before, Christ is coming to judge. But let me reiterate, these are the three things that God spoke to me uh, when the tire was hit. He said... He said, the beast is risen up out of the sea. He also said, just as Bush drew all the nations together through seducing words, so is the Antichrist come. And the third thing is, these are the beginning of sorrows. I look forward to putting out new videos as God deals with me about them. So you guys be patient with me. I will put them out, Lord willing. But I want to put them out in his order because I know that that's the only way. The only way it's going to be fruitful is to do the will of God. You guys be blessed. Pray. Seek. Ask God if you're finding this messages. Ask God if what I'm saying is true. God is not a respecter of person. God will reveal it to whosoever will try him. He said, you try me, I'll prove myself. God bless you.